Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This video is covered in the blood. Good afternoon, saints. Good afternoon, Jews and Gentiles, young, old, rich. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Jesus. This video is to give a tribute to those who are getting married for the brides and grooms in Jesus' name. All right, for the Ruths and Boazes, everyone. Father God, we just thank you, Jesus. We praise your holy name, Father. We thank you, Jesus, for the unions, O oh God, that you're joining together and you've already joined together. Father God, what God has joined together, Father, let no man put us under. Father, let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. In the name of Jesus, Father, we have peace, grace, and your victory. Be covered in the blood that our marriage reunions be Jezebel free and defile free. In the mighty name of Jesus, unbreakable bonds, O oh God. Three strand cords that cannot easily be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Hello, all. Are you all prepping? Those of you all who are getting married, are you prepping? Do you have your ideas in place and everything, everybody? Congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. When we get married, we'll have a great celebration. Folks from all over will come and see the wedding we plan. We'll have a ball, dancing and all, when we get married. When the bells ring, I'm telling the world, I'm taking your hand. Folks from all over will come and see the wedding we plan. We'll have a ball, dancing and all when we get married. We'll Dancing and all, and all. You all are going to have a ball. The bride, the groom, and God, the three strand cords that are not easily broken, an unbreakable bond, I declare. And I decree that you will have an unbreakable bond, a Jezebel-free marriage, a, a marriage that the bed is undefiled. In Hebrews 13, 4, it says, Let marriage be held in honor, Father, among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled. Hallelujah. You will have eyes for one another. Boazes will have eyes for your wives only. And I declare and I decree that the wives, the roofs will have eyes only for their boazes. Everyone, marriage is a good thing. When you're married, you come into a, a covenant with God. God said, and a man shall leave his mother and his father. The two shall become one. God is so awesome, everyone. I want you all to know that you're going to have a good marriage. God says in 2 Corinthians, 14, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion have light with darkness. All right. So God says that he is putting you together with equally yoked relationships. Okay. What God has joined together, let no man put us under everybody. In Proverbs 31, God says that. In 10, he says, who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost fire. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her so that he shall have no 
need of spoil. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are going to have some grand marriages. You're going to have some marriages that people never even seen before. I mean, some unbreakable bonds. You're going to be so happy. I declare and I decree happiness over your lives. Now and forevermore. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She's like the merchant ship she bringeth her from afar. She rises far so while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. You all are going to have wonderful homes. You're going to have wonderful lives. All right. Um, you're going to be so in love with one another. I declare and I decree um, that you will be in love with one another, that you will stay in love with, with stay in love with one another. And you shall not have eyes for any outside thing, okay? I declare and I decree healing over your lives, that you loving one another, that you putting your best foot forward, as God say to put, that you're listening to God, and that you're placing God first in your lives, okay? Men and women of God, kingdom spouses, Boaz is in Ruth. God is putting you together for examples, to be examples to others in their marriage, to let others know and understand what a marriage entails. All right. It says she perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle and her hands hold the, the, uh, the staff. She stretcheth out her hand to the poor. Yea, she reacheth forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. Holy God. She maketh fine linen and selleth it and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honor are her clothing and she shall rejoice in time to come. She opened her mouth with wisdom and in her tongue is the law of kindness. See, God is giving wisdom to couples right now. God is giving wisdoms to his roofs and boazes. All right. How to treat one another with kindness. How to be good listeners to one another. Not be selfishness. To compromise. All right. To give. To give more. To understand. To give wisdom, knowledge, and revelations. To receive him by putting him first in your lives. Putting him first in your relationships. Putting him first in your in your unions. When you're listening to God. When you're being obedient to God. Even when you don't feel like listening. All right. Um, not letting the um, anger go down on your wrath and at night when you go to bed, you know, doing things to make up with one another. You know, God has entrusted uh, a, a roof to his Boaz. So God expect for uh, that woman to be taken care of. God expect for that man to see her worth. All right. God expect for women to adorn yourself. You know, and the beauty of holiness for your husbands. Okay. Um, God says that you are bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. You are woman. She, he said that in Genesis that he said man needs not to be alone. So he sends his roofs to be with the Boazes. So in this union, you will arise up to the occasion. You will be the uh, um, examples to others. All right. To, to govern uh, others will see you, how you treat your woman and, and women, how you treat your man. All right. That they will want to do the same. See, God says that many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. I declare and I decree that you will excel in your marriage. You will excel in the ideas that you have together, that God will give you witty ideas, witty inventions, uh, ways to make uh, um, finances grow. You know, I'm, I'm, to become better than one, you get a reward, all right, a double reward, all right? Your prayers go up to heaven. It's doubly blessed, all right? So your lives are going to be blessed in your unions, everybody. You already blessed, but once you get married, you're joined together as one. To become one, God recognizes that you listen to him. Uh, God recognizes uh, us. Um, he puts us um, up to, to be... Uh, I'm celibate for our mates and, and God rejoices in that. See, God rejoices, the angels rejoices, the sun rejoices in heaven when you're married, when you're married. It's a covenant. 
So we under the graceful covenant. He says, give other fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her in her gates. So always be willing to listen. Never stop communicating with one another. Um, pray always continuously that nothing um, comes in between you. All right. Because we know that the enemy does not like uh, kingdom relationships. It's not like marriage, period. OK, but your marriage is going to be different. I declare not to create. So, all right. With the devil meant for evil, the Lord meant for all good. God say anything that's you put in first before him is vanity. He says in Ecclesiastes chapter one. He says to vanity of vanity, saith the preacher, vanity of vanity, all is vanity. Will profit half a man of his labor, which he taketh under the sun. One generation passeth away and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. The sun also ariseth and the sun goes down and hasteth to his place where he arose. All right. So God say it's, it's vanity. It, it's, it means nothing when you're... um. Not put him first, okay? So we, we have to put him first, everybody. Excuse me. We have to get him first. We must grow, all right? We must grow together. We must strengthen, be strengthened together. You know, um, laughter is important, you all, to laugh together. You're going to be laughing together. You're going to cry together. You're going to be joyful together. You're going to just be happy to be around one another, some of you all have not seen each other in a long, long time. Okay. So great is he in me than he who is in the world. You're going to have a good and awesome time. You're going to be reconnecting with one another. Getting to know you. Getting to know all about you. Getting to like you and hope that you like me too. God is putting some... Marriages together, you're going to be singing together, dancing together, crying together, talking together, walking together. You're just going to be doing things together. You're going to be doing things in one accord. Y'all, you're going to be yin to the yang, the frick to the frack. You're going to be completing each other's sentences. You know, you're going to be um, enjoying one another. And you're going to be loving each other unconditionally. And with this, we give God all the praise. And we just welcome him in our lives. And Father, we just thank you for the Reefs and Boazes this day, now, and forevermore. And let your will be done in the lives of your Reefs and Boazes, O oh God. Let your kingdom come. Let the men be like David, mirrored in your plumb line, centered in your plumb line. To treat their wives like you say to treat them. To love their wives as you love the church. Ladies, to love your husbands as God say you are to love them. So we shall not take none for granted. Don't take each other for granted, okay? Um, the things you start doing, don't stop, all right? So we seek him first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All these things shall be added, okay? You're beautiful in God's eyes, woman. You're beautiful, all right? You're beautiful in your Boaz's eyes. I want you all to know that. When a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. He's fine. Somebody that's a jack of all trades that can multitask. Men, cut the grass. Take out the trash. Help your wives out in the house with the children. You know, babysit when, when, you, when you need to watch your children. Give the wife a break. Let her go get pampered. You know, take her out. Uh, dine her. Date her. All right, but with is with this is trust. I declare and I decree that there will be trust in your marriages and your unions. I declare and I decree that you don't have to worry about things such as jealousy. All right, so God is really, really putting some great unions together right now, and it's just it's it's so glorious to see couples happy. We need more of that in this world right now. You know, it, it, you know, it's if it, 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 the song is in my mind right now. If this world was mine, I place at your feet all that I owe. You've been so good to me. If this world were mine, I give you the flowers, the the birds, the trees. I give you everything. So God is giving you something. Uh, men, a wife, a virtuous woman, 
is a lot. It's a lot to have in God's eyes. Women, a virtuous man, a good man, a man of date like David, God's own heart, that's listening and doing the things and holding it down for his household, for his family. God is bringing back his children to be in place that he called them out to be in. He's calling out the husbands to hold it down, to be the men that God wants you to be, those kingdom men, all right? To be the head, all right? Not the tail above, not beneath, blessed and not cursed. So I want you all to be thankful in the reunions that you're having, the unions that you're having. Put God first in your life and you will prosper. That your souls will rejoice, your marriages will prosper, all right? So you keep God in the center, everybody. You put him first. You get up, you pray together, you go to bed, you pray together throughout the day, you pray together. Whatever you do, get wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Always seek God in your endeavors, any decisions, big, little, or small, and, and uh, purchasing things. And, you know, just go to God in prayer. God will direct your path. He will direct your, your, your steps. Some of you all are coming up with some big surprises that's coming to you. And um, you're going to be so happy. Okay, so uh, may God bless your unions. What God is joined together, no, let no man put asunder. And I declare and I decree that your marriage will your bed will not be defiled. You you are you're equally yoked. You're not unequally yoked. You're equally yoked. So I declare and I decree that there's meaning in your marriages. There's meaning in your lives, in your unions, and your unions are blessed. I declare and I decree that you're blessed. All right. You're blessed, Caesar Abraham. God, this is, this is your inheritance. You know, you women and men, you're going out to subdue the land. You, you're owning land. You're doing that thing. Men, you're holding your households down. Women, you're helping them hold the households down. You know, you jack of all trades, women. You're doing that thing. You're doing the do. You're doing the do. You go, girl. <laughs> okay? So, um, stay prayed up. And I love you all with the love of the Lord. And this marriage is just a wonderful thing. All right. People are going to be looking at you and just be, they are so happy. Look how happy they are. They're going to see love all over y'all. It's just going to be flowing. This, your clothes look like love. Your, your hearts look like love. You know, God is changing us from the inside out. And you are so blessed. You are so blessed. So God is healing through his marriages and he's, He's blessing us, and it is two is more than better than one. All right? So man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of the mouth of God. I want you all to love the Lord with all your heart. Teach your children to love the Lord with all your heart, okay? So you all be blessed, all right? Father God, I thank you, Jesus, to cover each and every couple that's getting married and those who've already married, that you bless their unions, oh God. You are that sacrificial lamb. You are our peace. Govern us, O oh God. You are the authority. We tread on the line and the ad in the mighty name of Jesus. Well, God is joined together. Let no man put us under. We are blessed in the city, blessed coming in and going out. We thank you, Father, for these blessed unions. In the mighty name of Jesus, there's healing and victory in Jesus' name. I want you all to go with the love of the Lord and be blessed, okay? Amen, amen, amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise for the Son and the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. I want you all to make sure that you're complimenting one another. All right. It's important. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.